We're here today to talk about a spaceship. A spaceship. My family is originally from uh, Louisiana. I was born in New Orleans in the early 1930s. I'm 79 years old. And of course, I spent my uh, career uh, in the aerospace industry. Flew off to the moon, as we know. And they landed there the first time in history that human beings had ever flown to the moon. In my case, uh, coming through the early years of uh, aerospace, and of course, discrimination was a part of a uh, culture and a society we lived in, I just decided to make myself valuable. <laughs> You're going to go to orbit around the Earth, huh? I was the person that built and fired the laser to the moon that completed the first interplanetary laser ranging experiment after Apollo 11 had successfully landed. And then we dropped these off, so then we're flying with just the, with the orange tank, and this is the gas tank to the spaceship. Seven crew members. And when they blast off, in, within eight minutes, they've reached 200 miles above the Earth. We grew up in what was called a separate but equal system as such, as it was described in those days. And now I see um, uh, our students really with great uh, opportunities, but I see them also in a very complex social and cultural environment, which sometimes d dilutes their uh, uh, focus if I use that term, in their education. Science is not about being a geek. Science is about being really interested in what you're, you, you have an ambition about and taking it to a conclusion that you're willing to pay the price and prepare yourself to be a part of. His career and his history made me pretty interested in what I might be able to do for, you know, the earth, like, later on in my career. So I was, I was planning on being a lawyer, but now I'm thinking of working in space, so. In other words, I ask our young people, never let someone steal your dreams. 